first and foremost, congratulations, dear ladies, for your successful journey in Miss Earth 2021. I want to ask you first, ladies, how does it feel getting a crown for Miss Earth, uh, Miss Earth 2021? Um, did it sink in to you that you already um, won your respective crowns? Oh, yes, I'll start. So, I mean, it was definitely a whirlwind of emotion, um, but I think that I'm so happy and I can speak for all of us when I say that we're going to have such a great year together as the four of us and very happy it was us four who ended up together already feeling like we're creating a bond um, and so I solidified how I feel about being Miss Earth Air by going uh, bungee jumping uh, right after I was crowned uh, so that was really amazing so I definitely do feel like I've taken on my role as Miss Earth Air. <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool, Marisa. How about you, Romina? I personally think it's a process. I'm still processing the fact that I got a crown. <laughs> but um, since I've been working, I haven't really been able to celebrate as much or talk to my family and be, you know, I don't know, eating something or having a dinner and enjoying the moment. But it's coming. It's coming. We're here with the ladies. So this already feels so real. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. How about you, Miss Earth Fire from Thailand? Well, I did not uh, unexpect, of course. I did not expect I'm going to be like the... I come really far from, from my journeys. And also, it's like, I'm really appreciated to be like uh, the team of Miss Earth and meet all of the amazing girls. And also, like, I think we... Uh, we already be a winner, even we did not win the crowd or not, because like the beautiful we have together, even, you know, it's really like, it's really hard to getting to know each other from like the online, but like, like you see, we really love and like each other so much. So yeah. that's wonderful and amazing. Yeah, that's cool. And of course, our Miss Earth 2021, Destiny. Yeah, so it still feels a little unreal. I still feel like I'm going to wake up from this dream, but I know that I have been preparing like tremendously the past couple of years for this moment right here, unconsciously been preparing for it at that. Um, but since I am in the U.S., I know that it really hasn't hit me yet. But when I step foot back in Belize, which will be within the next few days, the love that I'm getting from my country online to receive that love in person, that is when it's going to hit me. And that is when I will, I will break down and cry tears of gratitude. Yeah. I want to know your thoughts, Destiny, because your name is Destiny and seems like Destiny supports you in this journey. You, you were destined to win mm -hmm. this crown. So what are your thoughts that, you know, winning a, a crown for Belize, one of the first, um, major international crown for your country? It was history being made. And like you said, it, it was destiny. Nothing was a coincidence. I, I don't believe in coincidences. Everything that was supposed to happen has happened. And this was God, you know, he, he, um, you know, say like close a, a certain door is closed a lot of doors, but he also opened some for me. And this was the door that he wanted me to open. The other ones weren't meant for me, but this was meant for me. So I, I'm happy and I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah, if it is meant for you, it is really meant for you. Now let's talk about your respective advocacies and your responsibilities as newly crowned queens. What are your priorities now that you have that voice, you have that power to, to speak up and, you know, talk about protecting Mother Earth? Let's start with you, Marisa. Yes, uh, so I'm very excited to hit the ground running. Like I've said throughout my whole journey, I really want to be known as the queen who does the work. That's the legacy I want to leave as a queen of action. Uh, so I love the fact that I can still continue on with my nonprofit organization, We Clean Trails. And I already have plans to expand uh, this program, not only within my country, but I have plans to go to both Mexico and the UK um, with my contacts in those countries uh, to be able to expand We Clean Trails across borders. Um, I'm hoping I get the chance to also travel to all of these other lovely ladies countries and host cleanups there as well, as well as continuing on with my advocacy work for uh, 
for different animals, endangered animals within my community and globally as well. A cool advocacy, Marisa, kudos to you. And how about you, Romina? Well, as for me, as of right now, I'm working on a project as Miss Earth, right? Miss Earth uh, Water 2021 right now that has to do with traveling around my country and promoting ecotourism, which is really necessary right now, especially because of the pandemic, it, it decreased. And so it's really important for the economic growth of our country. And second of all, I'm working with the Ministry of Health as well to work on uh, promoting the reports of illegal waste dumps that have been very important here. There are 3,700 in total in the whole country. So it's really important, the reports, because of the pandemic as well, the ministry hasn't really been able to focus. It has been focusing on the pandemic. So I want to focus on that and make a change regarding that. Yeah, kudos to you as well, Romina. And how about you, um, Miss Thailand, our Miss Earth Fire? Yeah, so um, I think we will have opportunity to meet all of the girls soon to meeting and let's figure out what we can do together in the future. And also for me in Thailand, I already start my project. It's going to happen next year about like changing our behavior easy by through your lifestyle because like our behavior is really important for the world right now. And um, we, we believe the climate change is really epic for the people who live on island first. And in Thailand, um, I'm joined with many, many projects. And I will, I will work with them, uh, right? Actually, right now I work with them, like we, we try to plan, plan schedule, like what I can do. And also like, it's gonna be a lot of, um, to, be, to be like speak out for the information and the update. And also I will like try to translate the, the information from like really, really hard to understand to be like easy for everyone. Yes, it's gonna start with that first. Yeah, good, good actions, good intakes. And of, of course, Destiny, our Miss Earth. Yeah, so Belize, we are filled with so much nature from our rainforests, our water sources, um, so I think I want to focus on our marine conservation and that's what I have been currently focusing on. And as an open water diver, I get to see the effects of human activity firsthand. So I definitely wanna promote our marine life and restoring our coral reef, but also our water sports that we're known for kayaking and scuba diving, but most importantly, educating people and letting them know to, to practice proper techniques when it comes to doing those things. And I'm looking forward to working with the government of Belize as well as the ministers in Belize. So those are currently pending right now, but I'm sure that we will be able to do a lot this year. Yes. I want to know, um, as newly crowned queens of Miss Earth, I want to know your thoughts, girls, on the relevance of beauty pageants amid the pandemic that we are experiencing right now. What are your thoughts on, on, on this? Um, Marisa? Yes. Well, I think that any time that a woman is using her voice to champion a cause, that is always relevant. We always need to be supporting women using their voice to make this world a better place. Uh, especially, I feel, with Miss Earth organization, we have such a relevant um, advocacy mother earth is something that it affects every single person on or on this planet is climate change and that's exactly what we are fighting against so i think that by giving us this platform on an online format even in the virtual sphere is allowing us to reach people from all across the globe and really instill a message of sustainability and i truly believe we all are beauties for a cause and that is so so amazing and relevant in of itself uh, so i'm looking forward to, like I said, working with these women over the next uh, year and really spreading that message of relevancy within women empowerment. Yeah, good thoughts, Marisa. How about you, Romina? Well, um, of course, stating the obvious, Miss Earth has already given all of us a voice, a louder one that we already had. Um, but more than that, I think all of the women present, present here are so well spoken they all have a message to spread um we all connect to people i feel like for example belize miss belize so 
she can approach people and she compels people. I, I believe all of us queens have that um, gift to call it somehow. And Miss Earth is already giving us that benefit of portraying that to other people and sharing that message that er Miss Earth wants to, to portray. So per se, I think that's already a, a huge gift that Miss Earth is giving us. Correct. That's a huge gift as well. I, 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 I really understand that. And Miss, how about you, Miss Fire? Yes, so I really agree with two queens of us. And I think it's like, it's, it's real because that's the reason why we come here right now. Um, and this is really challenging because like do everything like through online, you gonna understand me, right? Because when the activists need to fix the issue of the environmental, we need to action and do something. But right now we like stop and stuck in the box because of the pandemic and uh, everything we cannot do like the flow before. But it's really a challenge for me because like we will figure it out. We're going to create more and more and more like which way, which solution we're going to do. And I think it's really a big opportunity because it's going to connect like worldwide. And maybe we're going to have some project to do together at the same time. We don't have to do like country by country anymore, but it's going to be like worldwide and do like the same time, like on the world tour. Yeah, correct, correct. It's really connection. Connectivity yes. with, with, with everyone. That's that's yes, exactly. that's the goal. And how about you, Destiny? Yeah, I would definitely have to agree with my ecosisters here. Everything they said was spot on. Um, pageantry right now, I think, is so important now more than ever due to due to the pandemic. We need role models right now. A lot of children aren't in school. A lot of specifically in Belize, they aren't in school. So they are looking up to, pe they are looking for people who represent them. And we have a very diverse panel this year. So I'm honored to be a part of the, you know, I'm honored to, I'm honored to be here and I will always be honored to be here. So right now we are advocating for one another and amplifying each other's voice, not just our voice, but our youth voice as well. And most importantly, Mother Earth's voice. Cool, how about this one girls? Aside from your respective advocacies, those are, you know, amazing advocacies. What do you think is one particular environmental issues that we really need to address as ASAP? And what are your thoughts on, on that particular environmental issue? Marisa? Uh, yes, yeah, so one I also been working on a lot um, is uh, protections for endangered animals. Um, I also used to work as tagging sharks with NOAA's cooperative shark tagging program. I've been helping restore a nesting sites with the California least turn and also advocating for the protections of the seal and sea lion populations in La Jolla. Uh, so I've really been using my voice to advocate for animals that do not have a voice of their own. Uh, even my national costume, I showcase the monarch butterfly, which has reached endangered levels but has not gotten protections from the United States government um, here. Uh, so there's a lot of things that we can be doing. We are facing uh, the sixth uh, mass extinction. We've had uh, animals, uh, their rates have been dropping at faster and very alarming rates than ever before. And a lot of that is due to uh, human activities such as urban sprawl and also repurposing their habitats for agriculture and things of the like. So there's a lot that I think that we could learn uh, to help protect Mother Earth's animals. And that's something that's very near and dear to my heart and a part of my big umbrella for my collective earth advocacy, but it hasn't been as much my main focus as my uh, weekly trails uh, trash removal, but that was what gave me the inspiration to begin with. I wanted to remove at least one uh, hazard for these animals and their fight for survival and over a million animals die every year being entrapped or ingesting uh, litter and debris. Uh, so that's kind of where my inspiration for my current nonprofit came from. But uh, especially, I just always have been someone who very much loved animals. So I think that that's so important, something we need to focus on. Yes, animal or wildlife protection, Marisa. Good, good advocacy, good points. How about you, Romina? Well, along with what Marisa was saying, um, I started with this compulsion for animals and for caring for them and working with foundations and rescuing them and 
going to rescues and all of those things. However, um, as I went through those things and I saw all these problems that came with most of the most of the times where I found these rescues, they found themselves in situations where there was so much garbage. And those were the, the ones that I mentioned previously, illegal waste dumps. Those emit methane. And though that is the second gas that emits the most that has to do with climate change. And that is a reason, and that is a third most horrible thing that ha happens here in Chile specifically. First is deforestation, then, then is air pollution, and there is solid waste management. So with air pollution and solid waste management, those are two things I want to combine and try to help out in the community, not only with animals, but as well with my community, with the, po uh, with the populations that are around those areas. So I think it's very important to focus on those things so that once we can focus each country on its own, then we can all together as Earth, as a planet, get better. Yeah, with solid waste management, good points. Yeah. <laughs> and how about you, Miss Earthfire? Yes, uh, I think it's like we have many, many solutions need to fix right now, right away. But the problem is like from human, it's from our behavior. So I think like we school to focus on like, uh, our behavior first because I think we did not not everyone has a knowledge and right knowledge to manage our life because to be honest we had we just have like to like survive we need to find food find money find everything and to survive about that and don't have to they did not care about much about the other thing except the money or something out to survive and I saw that a lot because I have been working like 15 years and I see the real problem is not about the environment, but it's about human. It's about our behavior. It's about our understanding and our knowledge. So uh, I think like if we start with the human, the human going to be like, because we really have many, many of us. We overpopulation already. So that I think we should support to use that. If we have many, if we have that much. So help us help together to be to be able to like do something to create our solution by your own way you don't have to do the same like me like Romy like Destiny or right Marisa but you just like just understand and do by your way so I think it's gonna be I'm, I'm gonna start with that first and I work on that and my advocacy just like focus on that because you know uh, at the climate change is happened to be honest we cannot change anything much is getting worse and worse and worse. But what we can do is slow down and do it less and make more diversity happen because like we, we lot is too much. So we need to change our behavior. Correct, correct. It's really our behavior as human beings that needs to be, you know, to be adopted and, you know, for, for a change for our, for our earth, for our planet. And how about you, Destiny? So an issue that I feel would, um, would be one of the easiest ones for us to combat is just getting rid of single use plastics. And that's been a major issue in my country, but we have been making strides and progression uh, to, ban, to ban single use plastics. So I want everyone to just be mindful because plastic is really bad for our environment. And a lot of it does end up in our oceans and our aquatic system which is killing off of our species. And when one species is dead or extinct, that creates a ripple effect and ultimately a whole ecosystem is damaged. So just everyone be mindful, get rid of plastic cups and replace them with aluminum or steel cups. Um, when you're going grocery shopping, please bring a, a cloth bag or a recyclable bag instead of using plastic and straws. There are so many great alternatives now instead of using plastic straws there's wooden straws as well as metal straws which I always carry with me so that is the issue that I feel that we would be able to combat once as soon as like the quickest thing that we would be able to combat yes because my gosh plastic pollution is is everywhere it's really killing our planet and we need we really need to address that now girls just to wrap this up who are the people that you would like to thank to and, you know, um, your message to your fans and to your supporters? Marisa? 
Yes, well, I want to thank everyone who has been part of Team USA. I have had so much of an outpouring love and support, not only from the United States, but across the whole globe. It's been really humbling seeing how many people have believed in me. Uh, some of people who really stick out are obviously my directors, uh, Laura, Brittany, and Ariel, uh, and then also uh, my team in the Philippines, including Linnell and JV, who've been able to help me open up the door to speak to so many more people and expand my voice. Um, but then again, also, I really want to thank my family, especially my mom. Uh, she always believed in me uh, on this 10-year journey. It was exactly 10 years from my first pageant till the Miss Earth final, the same date. Um, and even on times where I might not have believed in myself, my mother always believed in me. Um, and she really helped carry me through um, the 10-year journey to be able to get to this Miss Earth Air crown. And so for that, I'll always be thankful. Yeah, thank you so much, Marisa. How about you, Romina? Well, first things first, uh, thank you for the interview and thank and thank you to these girls. It's always beautiful to hear your advocacies and what you uh, believe in. I want to thank uh, the organization, my team. They believed in me from the very start. And if it weren't for them and them believing in me, I wouldn't be here today. So I want to thank them for that. My family and my friends and everyone that has been supporting us as queens because thanks to them, we're able to send these messages. So thank you. Yes. How about you, Miss Earth Fire? Can I copy there? <laughs> 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 <So sweet. laughs> well yes thank you thank you for all, all this beautiful girl and i agree with you romi because it's really amazing to hear all of us about what uh, we believe and it's like it's put us to like do more and more and i think i'm really appreciate every support to give it to me, my family, my team, also like this interview and especially with like Miss Earth organization to give this big opportunity for all of us to be the voice for the earth, to, to speak out and to action more. And also like, thank you for myself to, to, to dare, dare to dream and dare to do something really bigger than myself. And thank you for this world to let us to have a life. And I will do my best to save you as much as I can. Thank you. And okay, so I'll go. I'll go. Um, I am very thankful to be here, of course, and I wouldn't be here without God. So I have to give praise to the Most High, of course, and. You know, there were some times throughout the duration of the pageant where I just became overwhelmed. I wasn't sure how I was going to do. I wasn't sure if I was getting the support that I needed. However, I got the support. I did end up getting the support. Um, my close friends and my family, they did everything possible to make sure that I had everything I needed. Even if it may not be what I wanted, it was what I needed. And for that, I am very thankful. A production team, shout out to Ignite and shout out to Mr. Marcel Palma as well. He actually filmed my eco video for me. And when I got crowned, um, the day that it was announced to the world, he passed away. So I feel like it was a very bittersweet moment, but I know that he, like he was looking down from heaven and smiling. So everything that happened to me was, des was destiny. So I'm thankful. I think you are in me. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Congratulations, everyone. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, Destiny. We feel you. Again, ladies, congratulations. Thank you so much for this wonderful interview. And kudos to all your advocacies in making our earth a better place to live in. Congratulations, ladies. Keep safe, everyone.